hawks are circling my baby turkeys. <laughs> This mama was sitting on a bunch of chicks while those hawks were overhead, hiding them. Good job, mama. Yes. Smart girl. Yeah. That mama turkey's checking the sky. Make sure there's no more hawks. Just check in the sky. Make sure it's safe. No. No. What are you guys doing? No. You're digging. Yeah. I'm digging. I'm digging. Yeah. Yep, we're gonna put plants in there. Yep. I'll stick some onions in there. Thank you for the help. So I just kind of plucked these watermelon plants into this hill of compost out in the cow pasture. There's three of them. And they seem to be doing all right. They seem nice and tight in there with their roots. See how, how well they do. It's still a little chilly. <laughs> Especially when it's windy out like it is today, but we're gonna go back into the 80s after today, so they should take right off. All right, you guys, it is it is rainy and gross out there still. It's gonna go straight from like 55, 60 degrees and rainy and gross to 83 degrees and miserable. Uh, there is no in between apparently for us this year, so working with what we have to work with but tomorrow when it's not rainy and gross and Paul's home we're gonna be outside finishing the garden so I figured I'd show you guys these today we're just gonna go over the stuff that we still have in our pantry that we put up last year out of last year's garden or last year's uh, berry harvest so on and so forth um, not a lot however last year I had two very young children um this year they're three and one and a half so last year they were even littler um so didn't get a whole lot done didn't get it as much done as i would have liked to however um it is what it is we still have a few things left there's one two three four five six seven eight eight items from last year and we have other stuff in the pantry still it's um like soups and meats and beans and stuff that i can over the winter time so we still have all of that stuff but uh this is the stuff specifically from like harvest season last year either from the garden or from local uh berry places first thing this is actually from i think this is not even from last year i think this is from the year before and this is just grape juice um the kids just don't seem to like it i don't know if i didn't put enough sugar in it or maybe i just don't offer it to them enough um because i forget that it's in there either way i'll figure out something to do with this there's only like three or four quart jars left in there and it is really pretty i don't know if you can tell how pretty and purple that is but um i might just make it into grape jelly because we're getting low on jelly um i don't know I'll figure out something. If you have any suggestions on what to do with leftover grape juice, let me know. Uh, we still have, and I didn't even know we had these left. I was like avoiding buying tomato products from the store and avoiding making anything with tomato products because I was like, we don't have it, we're not using it. Uh, what We did have it, I just didn't know that. So last year we did a bunch of tomatoes with onions and celery in it and it just makes a nice flavorful sauce or an, a really nice um, soup base so we did up a bunch of quarts of that and they came out really nice I don't know if we seasoned them or not I don't think we seasoned these ones we seasoned our diced tomatoes um, but these uh, have been awesome to work with and to use with typically we don't make pasta sauce ahead of time 
and then can it. We just can the tomatoes because typically we have small children and we're in a hurry to get stuff done. So I might take the time to make actual sauce this year. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm thinking about it because I feel like I don't use my tomato products enough to make sauce with them because I just don't want to or I forget to take them out and let them simmer down. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So anyways, a bunch of these still left, which is awesome. Next thing that we have that is still, we have a lot of it. I'm probably only going to make this. I might make it again this year and gift it because it did come out really good. Um, but I'm the only one that uses it because I'm the only one in my house that eats hot things. So I made myself um, a hot sauce using like an entire mix of the hot peppers that I grew, which was the Hungarian waxes, um, the Jack Black jalapenos, and the one that I liked the most that um, added a lot of flavor to this was I used the lemon drops, I believe is what they're called. They're like, the plant gets huge, big and bushy, and they're this, like this big, and they're skinny and bright yellow. Beautiful, great fruity flavor. I love them. Uh, we do have some growing again for this year. But um, I have quite a few jars of this left. I'm probably gonna start giving it away or figuring out how to use it quicker myself. It's really good. I also, um, I did the peppers and the vinegar and all that, but then I also mixed pineapple and pineapple juice in with it. Nice, fruity, flavorful hot sauce, and I love it. It's fantastic. Um, I'm just the only one that uses it, so that's why it's still here. Pickles. So the reason that my pickles are still on the shelf, uh, my youngest toddler, Stevie Wren, she loves pickles. She goes through a jar a week at least, but I've been having to buy them at the store because I did not pay attention to what I was doing. I was just trying to do it quickly, didn't care, um, and now the pickles are soggy because I didn't do any measures to make sure that the uh, skin stayed crispy. So. All of the pickles that are left in there, I'm going to cut, slice them a little smaller. They're going to go into the dehydrator, and I think I'm just going to powder that all up and store it in a jar somewhere, and we'll sprinkle it on popcorn, and we'll sprinkle it in potato salad. be a good thing to have in the kitchen. Um, it just didn't work out in pickle form. This stuff is phenomenal, and I believe I have either a blog or a previous video on this stuff. I'll look and see. Um, either way, if you guys want to read any of my informational blogs, I'll leave the link to our website below. But this is pumpkin butter. And I'll actually, I have to give credit where credit is due. I stole this recipe straight from that 1870s homestead. Um, she made it there and then I also made it and it's fantastic. <laughs> So, um, really impressed. It's really yummy. And we use it for everything. Um, we put it on toast. We put it in oatmeal. I make a pumpkin chocolate chip baked oatmeal with this. Fantastic. So, uh, I've liked it. I've also been using it, uh, cause I made quite a few jars, but I've also been using it instead of pumpkin puree in muffins, pumpkin muffins, pumpkin cookies. It works just the same. So, really like this stuff. We'll definitely be making more. Apple pie filling. So, see it solidified a little bit back down here. Um, just never think to use it, you know? Um, I really, I'll probably actually keep the straw out and make something with it. Um, either a baked apple pie oatmeal or an actual apple pie. Or my favorite is apple crisp, but Paul's like a dead set apple pie guy. So, around, we still have like three jars of it, so I think we moved through it pretty decent, um, but good to have. This is my green tomato salsa. I prefer green tomato salsa over regular, like, red tomato salsa, so all this is is just unripe tomatoes. It's just a good way to use the extras or the ones at the end of the season. You're going to make your salsa recipe exactly how you like it, only with green tomatoes instead of red ones. That's it. That's all it is. No um, crazy secret. 
So uh, we still have some of this left because it's not Paul's favorite. So I'm eating it and Kingston's eating it, but that's it. And I made quite a bit. The last thing we still have in the pantry from last year that isn't actually canned, it's just preserved. Um, and it's still doing great. I am extremely, extremely impressed with this. Um, is our sun-dried tomatoes in olive oil. So these are actually dehydrated tomatoes. I dehydrated them. So what I do is I take all of the cherry tomatoes that split or that I don't get too quick enough. I cut them in half. I throw them on the dehydrator. Dehydrate them really, really good so there's no moisture in there. And then I stick them in olive oil. And we just use this whenever we want to. Um, I put it on pizzas the most. But they're still doing great. They still smell fine. They're holding up really well right in the pantry. Um, dark and cool place with everything else. Really impressed. That's a really easy way to use those cherry tomatoes that run away on you. I know cherry tomatoes, we get overloaded with them. And then it's like, oh man. So that's it from last year. Like I said, we still have a bunch of other stuff. We have canned meats. Um, we have canned beans. I do a lot of soups. Uh, I make a homemade canned ramen base and that's awesome too. That is on the blog. I just posted that on the blog. So check that out because I have this terrible addiction to ramen noodles. Don't like to pay for real ramen don't like to make real ramen when I want them. Don't want to eat the ramen noodles from Walmart. So, um, I figured out how to make a ramen base, uh, homemade, can it, and then just add the noodles to it and the extras. Uh, when you pull it out of your pantry, it makes a really quick, nice lunch. So that's what we've got. Um, it's a good amount for somebody who didn't put in a whole lot of effort last year because I was tired from children. That's not bad. Um, this year's going to be a lot bigger. This year we're going hard for obvious reasons. Um, Self-sufficiency is going to be important. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Um, I hope that your pantries are still plentiful. And if they aren't, I hope you're close to harvest season. Uh, we're close to harvesting cabbages. That would be cool. Um, I hope that you guys have a great weekend. It's going to be a hot one here in central Maine. I hope that you guys can escape the heat if that's where you're at. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.